Welcome back. More magnetic field with currents coming up. The statement reads, a current I flows down a wire of radius A. A. If it is uniformly distributed over the surface, what is the surface current density K? B. If it is distributed in such a way that the volume current density is inversely proportional to the distance from the axis, what is JS? The volume current density. Things to know for this problem, the surface current density is defined as K equal the rate of change of the current with respect to the perpendicular component of the line that it's traveling on. And in similar fashion, the volume current density is the rate of change of the current with respect to the perpendicular component of the area that it's traveling through. All right, so let's put these together to find a solution. Um, for part A, since we know that this is a wire of radius A, the length perpendicular to the flow is just the circumference of that wire. So that's why we have uh, K equal I divided by 2 pi A. Those are all constants, so the rate of change is consistent. Um, for B, we have a little more work to do, though. It says that J was proportional to the inverse. So that's why we have J of S is proportional to 1 over S. We can write this in closed form with JS equal alpha S, where alpha is the separation constant. Um, now we can use the definition of the volume current density to solve for I, and then eventually we'll find alpha from that. So solving this equation for uh, DI and then integrating, we can find that we need to take the integral of this um, proposed current density over the perpendicular uh, cross-sectional area. In the cylindrical coordinates, that is equal to S, D, S, D, phi from 0 to A and 0 to 2 pi, uh, which again gives us the circumference, 2 pi A. Uh, here, since it's inversely related, the integrating factor S and the um, inverse factor S cancel out. There's a typo there, it's a copy of the S. Uh, but nonetheless, we get 2 pi A times alpha. Solving this for alpha, we get I over 2 pi A, similar to what we found on the uh, linear case, or the surface case, rather. Uh, and then we could just substitute that into J equal alpha over S, and then simplify down. So we end up with J equal I over 2 pi A S.